South Northam, the one that did it in West Virginia or Virginia, wasn't he the one that did blackface? Yeah, and then he dressed up as the KKK guy or whatever? Yeah, that was a Democrat. So let that, let, let that sink on in. Let that fucking sink on in. Yeah, let it fucking sink in, fucking lefties. So, uh, good old Brett Kavanaugh is back in the motherfucking saddle again. Now they want to impeach him from the Supreme Court. Yeah. Over another allegation. That he flashed a woman at a party in the 80s. And his friend pushed him into her. So his Johnson went into her hand or touched her. Now, sounds like that buddy should get in some trouble too, right? Like, if you put... Now, I'm not saying not... It did, she can't recall the incident. So, she she can't remember it happening. And if it did happen, I, I mean... You whipped your dick out in front of me, I'm thinking I'm going to remember that shit. Especially if it touches me. The fuck? I think I'm going to remember that pretty clearly. But, then again... I'm not dredging up shit from the past. And it was all to sell a couple books. And now that New York Times had to fucking backtrack and say they fucked up and this that the other thing because they didn't put their right shit in the article they completely left things out on purpose but yes that's the fucking newspaper we're all supposed to love and trust get the fuck out of here i'm not saying you gotta you gotta trust the people you listen to you gotta do your own research and come to your own conclusion not an opinion a conclusion you gotta have a fucking ending to it i mean you still have an opinion but that shit can change I'm, the facts are the facts. The lady does not know or cannot remember it happening. And yet they're still going to push it and slander the guy as if it did happen. Like it did before. Now, if it did happen to someone, that's fucked up. No one has the right to whip their shit out in front of you and then have someone push them in. Yeah, eat them, have them touch you with it or have someone else have them touch you with it. That shit ain't no matter how it's twisted, it ain't right. If you want to consent to that shit... You go for it. That's that's your own fucking... That's your own cup of tea. You enjoy it. But if you didn't, that's fucked up. Making that real clear. I am not supporting no sexual assault, no rape, none of that shit. I'm not in support of that shit. That motherfuckers get beat up around me. That's facts. But what they're doing to homie... I'm not, not even my homie. But I can't... I don't want to keep saying his fucking name. They just... It's not right. You're just dragging him through the mud over and over and over and over again just to see what the fuck sticks. Just like you're doing with Trump. Going to do everything and anything you can to impeach him. Going to waste some more time. Going to waste some more taxpayer money. Investigating shit that you already investigated because you didn't find what you wanted to find the first time. I mean, fuck. I wish everyone got to do that kind of job. You're like, yo, let's just use this person's money to do whatever the fuck we want for the next three years, or two years, or one year, or however long you guys are going to be left in fucking office, because it's already going to be Trump 2020, so whether it's the Senate or the or the House, either way, one of them's going to stay red, one of them's going to stay Republican, I hope they both go Republican, because fuck all if, if Congress has done anything except investigate non, non important shit for the last two years. But let's digress and do another one. You know what I'm saying? Another one, like some DJ Khaled shit. Another one. So, they didn't let Tulsi Gabbard in on the third debate. And a lot of people, a lot of people, uh, people that follow politics, and the second one, she ripped apart Kamala Harris with uh, Kamala Harris's actual uh, track record as a prosecutor. She had a lot of people arrested for minor drug charges. A lot of black men were arrested for bags of weed. And given harsh sentences for it. And she had even said in the debate that she wishes she could have did more. Or maybe it was during the climate debate. Town Hall. Either way, yeah, they had a climate town hall. That I swear they just used that to talk about every other fucking 
issue that they could come up with, whether it was guns, abortion, Kamala Harris's prosecutor record, whatever it was, they came up with all other kinds of shit except the questions. But Tulsi Gabbard tore her up with that shit. And you could tell it caught her off guard. She's like, you could tell, like, that, she thought that that was a low blow. She was looking around like, this bitch. You know, we all seen it. If you watched it, you've seen it. If you watch it now, you still gonna see that eye roll. Like, she did not just fucking say that. She fucking said it. But they didn't let Tulsi Gabbard in because of what she did. So they thought she was going to rip apart uh, Elizabeth Warren, Biden, whoever else was in her fucking sights. Well, she probably was going to. So she didn't get into the third debate. Neither did Marianne Williamson. And Marianne Williamson is the one that everybody says she talks to crystal balls. She doesn't. It's kind of a fucked up thing to say about someone. She doesn't talk to crystal balls. But she does believe the left is meaner than the right. And I believe that shit's kind of funny. The left, I think we have a lot of jokes. I mean, the left, not the left. Oh. The left takes a joke and internalizes it. So just let that shit bounce off you and deflect it like every other normal person would laugh about it. They take it and they run with it. And they use it against you. The right uses jokes for fun. That's why people say the left can't meme and the right can. It's said, literally, if you follow politics, that shit's said heavily. Especially when it comes to political memes. Well, it go over a lot of people's heads, but a lot of people it doesn't. Because if you follow it, you kind of understand it. I'm not knocking you if you don't. If you follow my podcast, especially the political shit, you probably follow politics. Which I commend you on, because God knows that shit's boring as fuck, and I don't know how we do it. But anyways, Marianne Williamson, she just thought the left was just mean. You know, and the right's willing to sit down and talk and this, that, other thing. I think there's nice people on both sides, like I've said before. I'm open, I'll openly debate, I'll openly have a conversation, a dialogue, whatever the fuck you want to call it. We'll, we can chat. We can do it on, rec. we can do it on the podcast, we can do it off the podcast, we can do an interview, it don't make a difference. We can do it. If you want on, holla at me. Uh... But yeah, they weren't. They both weren't let on the third debate, which I thought was fucked up because Marianne makes the shit funny and Tulsi just rips people up. So we left two kind of decent people. I thought off of it that would have been decently on it. I think it's hard to watch anyways because they're all spewing the same bullshit just with other words. <laughs> oh, and I know this one got every every e-cigarette smoker's panties in a bunch. You already know what I'm going to say. Got them in a bunch. Big old bunch. And I know every marijuana smoker that loves a cartridge. God knows I love a cartridge. Everybody that smokes cartridges got mad as fuck at Trump. I didn't. I laughed. I laughed my ass off. Why did I laugh my ass off? Because I already knew one thing. One thing is true. There is no way it's going to fucking work. It's not. It's not going to work. There's no way the ban on e-cigs is ever going to float. It's never going to work. It'll never pass. Because it technically infringes on the rights of someone to do something that they want to do. Somewhere down the line, I don't remember what amendment it was or whatever, but... Tim Pool was talking about it, so was fucking Sticks and Hammer. You you can watch them and you can look it up. It's pretty pretty easy. But no, it's never going to happen. Why do I think it's funny? Petrov, why do you think this shit's funny, bro? Because, y'all, salty-ass motherfuckers, every time they went after cigarettes, yes, my fucking cigarettes that I've been smoking for ten fucking years, every time they went after the fucking cigarettes, we had a tax hike that was outrageous. Yes, I'm sorry, it's fucking insane that I gotta pay ten dollars for a pack of cigarettes. I don't give a fuck if you don't like it. Lick my ass. I'm sure I can find something that you do that I don't like. That I think you should have to pay more for. Now, wh- that's why I thought it was funny. People that smoke e- e-cigarettes, you're going to end up probably having to probably pay more. It's going gonna, gonna to have a higher tax. That's what it's going to be. And guess what? You're going to have to suck that shit up. And you can be as mad as the rest of us cigarette smokers about it when we go and buy a pack of cigarettes and we inhale this cancery goodness. I'm not promoting cigarettes. I don't tell anybody to smoke that shit. I think they're disgusting. But yes, I'm addicted to them motherfuckers. And I do smoke them. So, 
if you are a smoker, I guess congrats to your dumbass, too? Yeah, congrats to your dumbass, too. Because we're all dumbasses that smoke. Now, if you smoke e-cigarettes, they're gonna... I don't know how much you pay for the shit. I don't smoke them. I don't have this. I don't have the equipment. I don't do that shit. Uh, if you ha- I don't know how much it costs, but it's probably gonna go up. I would venture to say at least... I would say anywhere between 5 to $10, at least. Maybe not right away, but it's going to happen. Just like cigarettes did. Cigarettes started, when I started smoking, they were $5 a pack. Now they're almost 10 So we went about $5. So, good luck. And hopefully, if that's your choice to keep smoking, keep smoking. Now for the cartridges, that, yeah, that is, that, that does make a bit of a difference. I know there's not a lot of deaths, but there are people that do get sick. And, uh... You, you, all I can say is you got to know your source. Your source has to know their source. They have to be trusted. You have to know what you're looking for. I'm not going to tell anybody on this motherfucker what they're looking for. You have to know. Learn that shit on your own. Um, if you don't, I wouldn't suggest buying one. If you think it's sketchy, don't buy it. Uh, just know you can't blame THC for the fact that someone put something in a... Uh, they, a cutting agent, they put a cutting agent in with their oil, and then they decided to fill up some cartridges. You can't blame the rest of the THC world for that. Now, to those people that got sick, the people that died, God rest your souls, I'm sorry it happened to you, but don't smoke cartridges, maybe stick to flour, maybe just stick to a concentrate that comes on some wax paper. Kick it old school. You don't need a fucking cartridge. Oh, you can go get a cartridge, go buy a gram of fucking some wax, put that shit in the cartridge, boom. Got a cartridge. You can go buy the little fucking battery pack at any fucking tobacco store and no demand. Holla at that. That's facts. Uh, Melissa Milano. Alyssa Milano. Alyssa Milano. And Ted Cruz met and talked about guns. That's probably not going to go nowhere. We can be honest about that. I mean, it's good It's good that two people from uh, the far left and the right or far right, whatever the fuck you want to call Ted Cruz, I think he's just a Republican, but I'm sure the people out there are like, he's all right. Uh, I'm sure that, uh, there, it, it's, I'm sure it's a good idea that they got together and talked. Now, I'm not specifically too fond of anything Alyssa Milano has ever said. She's not, she's not hitting any fucking key tones with me. If she does with you, awesome. But she doesn't with me. So, I really just think it's a good thing that they met and they talked. Now, hopefully, Cruz was able to shed some light on the ideas that the fact she wants to ban all guns, this other thing, that's not all guns are the same, not all guns do the same things, da 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 this, that thing. I'm not going to get into it on here. You can look it up yourself. It's really easy to fucking research. It's not hard. Google is your friend when it comes to research. Look it the fuck up. Anyways, see that this is just gonna be a quick one, like I said. But uh, Bernie, good old Bernie, man, y'all gonna feel that burn if that socialist ever gets in the fucking power. Oh wait, he's in power as a fucking senator in Vermont. Anyways, that class act of a man wants to ban deportations. Yep, he said it. At a, I think it was called Mahente. It was a, it's a group. It was like a group. Uh, it's a big group that hates ICE and it's anti ICE. But that I means that anti just means hate. Uh, they hate ICE. They want uh, you know this that other thing. There's a whole list of shit. I did I didn't write it down. That's just the gist of it. That's where he was speaking. And I'm assuming he said that just so he can get more votes because he knows that shit would never pass. Even if he says, oh, an executive order, this, that, other thing, it ain't gonna fucking work. He knows that shit's not, there's no, that's not, people might want that, some people might, but you gotta, you gotta, there has to be a system. Every country has a system, every country has borders, open borders won't work. Like I said, we're, I'm gonna get into this more on into another podcast tomorrow on Friday. It's gonna be a popping one, it's gonna go about, uh, I wanna say, 10.30 in the morning, we gonna get that bitch cracking. Uh... But it is what it is. And it's definitely something you can look up. He did say it. It is out there. Uh, 
It's really easy to look up. Just look up Bernie on Banning Deportations. Anyways, this is...